We have arrived at our first winery for the trip. Naylor is the name of it. It's right up the road here. February 27th, 2015. South of York, PA. Naylor Winery. We came out the turnpike from New Stanton. Got all covered in salt. Now we're going to go in for our first tasting of the day. Well, we stopped at the wrong building. Poor signage. We had to go up the road another 100 yards or so to the main tasting room area. We'd stop down at that building down there. There's no real signs telling you you got to go further until you get out of your car and walk up to the door. Hey, you got to go up the hill. Naylor Wines. Nice visit. We tasted uh, two for free, and he gave us a couple extra ones. You taste five, you got to pay five dollars and get a glass, free glass. We have too, way too many glasses. We ended up buying a Rhinelander semi drive Niagara mix in the German style. This is our second stop, Logan View. The tasting room is in that blonde area of the building, but you have to go into the main farmer's market, bronze farmer's market. The address doesn't show up on the GPS for the tasting room, but it does for the market on uh, Logan Valley Road. And their grapes are over here. When we first got here, there was two men out in the middle of the field tending to the grapes or hunting grouse. I don't know what they were doing. Well, they weren't wearing orange, so they must have been checking the grapes. Big orchard area. Orchards down in front here and grapes in the rear. Four Springs Winery. It's Friday. Answer machine said they were open and they're closed. But we don't know anything about this place. There is a really old church across the street with a bell up in the tower. Looks like somebody might be living there now. Got the dish TV. Wouldn't that be great to have a house with your own bell? And I just noticed from the parking lot there's an old uh, railroad uh, right away. Goes through town. It's a walking trail now because they put a sign on it that says it's the birthplace of commercial ice cream production. In 1851, Jacob Fusel built a factory nearby for the production of ice cream from surplus milk. I'll be darned. This is the High Rock Winery, probably named because it's on the High Rock Road. Pretty small. Got the wood pile over there. There is a heck of a view from here. And a huge valley over there, if you could see the uh, through the trees. But it's pretty uh, obscure. We went by a huge communications tower, the cement uh, security building at the bottom was about as big as an elementary school. Must have a ton of switching equipment in there. Really big. Concrete. 12 feet tall. About half the size of a football field. This is Hauser Winery on the east, uh, west side of Gettysburg. And uh, we were here last year. It's been really had an enjoyable time. They let us bring our snacks in. We shared a bottle of wine, had some snacks. Over there, we have a picture from the uh, from the building. Pretty windy day. This is a deck area on the rear of the building. Faces the valley. You know, oh, lots of orchards. Everybody's got an orchard here. And now we're facing towards Gettysburg. Battlefields out there, probably about eight miles now. And the Adams County Winery is over and across the road, out in that area. We may visit there later. We're going to see if we can sneak our snacks into the building and have a 
little uh, lunch activity. This is the Adams County Winery. The oldest, I think, and also the biggest. First time we were here, oh, eight, nine years ago, it was truly in a small barn. You had to step over a stone door sill to get in. Went through that door over there on the left. And that's all there was at the winery. Everything else has been added on since. It's huge in here. We're going to take the barrel tasting tour. They added parking lots before. They just had one little wee portage on over there straight ahead by that pine tree. And that's all there was. They uh, sunk a few million dollars in here and got this huge patio. And it's huge inside. You love this place but we still prefer the last one we were at, Hauser. They treat us so good there. Everybody's so knowledgeable and friendly. We had our snacks inside. Spent about an hour and a half, had a bottle of wine. It was great. I will get... Melissa will do that. Should we do the tour and then taste? Or? I would go ahead and, yeah, taste. Well, they're just going to barrel drop, so they might want to wait till after we're going to prepare the finished product. Draw. Draw. Okay, we've completed our tour of wineries for the day, and this is where we're staying. It's a bed and breakfast here at the Fairfield Inn in Fairfield, Pennsylvania. Built in 1757. We'll be staying in the same rooms as the Confederate General stayed in whenever they were attacking Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. There's a tavern downstairs and bedrooms upstairs. Here's a storyboard. You can hit pause on your video whenever you want to read a paragraph. I'm going to take a quick picture of this. There's a battle of Fairfield here. Two hours north, two miles northeast of time. When you come in, the Fairfield Inn. You can have your dinners. And in our case, because it's bed and breakfast, we'll be having breakfast in one of these rooms. All decorated with antiques and paintings. I'll be featured on the piano later. That's a these are where the ghosts are. This is one of the rooms. I don't know if you can see how crooked the floors are, but they're amazingly yeah, I know. They're like this. This is the Grumble Jones room. Buddy Bob staying in. Very nice and quaint. Got setting area. It's got his own fireplace. A desk for his memoirs. He may have some. We don't know. Depends on what Susie's in the mood for. <laughs> if you have dinner here on Friday night, they put on a Civil War era magic show. And I've never seen...
stone steps inside a house. Wow. We're on the second floor, and these steps, I don't think they're original to the building, but they put in the stone steps. There's Washington. That's the door to the haunted attic. You can see it's very securely locked with that hasp. This is the fire escape ladder. But you can only escape going sideways. This is the shared bathroom for suites that don't have bathrooms. I believe ours has one. And this is the, I don't know, suite. There's no name on a door. This is the 1757 suite, which is the uh, year the building was built. Here's a pair of stairs to nowhere. That's pretty cool. You just drop right down that stairwell. There's a door at the bottom. That would have been the servant stairs. Very steep. Chimney for the building. They have their own bathroom. We're the only ones checked in so far, so we have the run of the place. This is really cool. Look at the window seats. Right, there's shelving under there. Another chimney. This is gorgeous. It looks like another stairwell over there, too. You have a little rope across it. Things might get a little rowdy later. A double barrel shotgun there on the wall. Right, right up into one of them, the rooms I was in, and I saw them. Yeah. There's a door there, that's what it's for. This is the main dining area. And this is where uh, the door over there next, in front of that guy would be at the bottom of those steps I showed you upstairs. And this is the tavern. This is the bathroom of the Patrick Henry suite. And you actually have a cloth tub, cloth foot bathtub, and a chair. I don't know what that's for. I don't know. Seems a little weird for being in a bathroom, but it's not my bathroom. Nice view of the neighbors. But this is quaint beyond belief. Um, the room's well appointed. Has bottled water and there's snacks outside the door, granola bars or something if you need a nosh, shampoo and everything you expect. Now we're here in February 2015 at a special half price, $75 a night. Get your March 1st, 100 and a half. So we're quite happy about our accommodations. I just have to show you the hardware on the bathroom door. Okay. It's old school. This is what it looks like on the inside of the bathroom. It has a lock and stuff. Oh, you're talking. But if you don't want your kids to go in the bathroom or whatever room you want to do on the outside, you just take the handle off and hide it, and you can't get in the room from the outside. Never saw that before. I'm 
And a man bow jangle so he could dance for you. In worn out shoes, silver hair, baggy shirt, and ratty pants. He did the old small shoe. He jumped so high. I met him in a cell in New Orleans. I was down and out, and he looked at me to be the eyes of age, and he spoke right out. Hitched up his pants for a better chance And jumped so high And he let go of that Let go of that He shook his clothes all around Mr. Bojack Shows and county fairs throughout the South, and he talked to tears how for 15 years is talking to me. Travel about the dog up and died, up and died. After all these years, he still grieves. He said, These days, I dance every chance in honky tonks. Drinks and tips. But most of my time I spend behind these candy bars. Cause I drink a bit. <laughs> and he jumps so high. Jumps so high. I heard someone ask him, please. Mr. Boja. Come on and Like you're 
leaving there too soon. You're leaving there too soon. Hey, underneath the stairs, give them back some land. To the people you just met, your first cigarette.
dreams were lightning, thunder was desire. This old house would have burned down a long time ago. So make me an angel. It flies from Montgomery. Make me a poster of an old rodeo. Just give me one thing.
bags in the sunshine. You sing it out. I don't know, know where, 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 What did you 
We left Fairfield, Pennsylvania, and now we're in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania for our first winery of the day. Could be our last if the next winery we're going to is not open. I have to call and make sure it's down around the corner here when we're going to today. Tuscarora Mountain Winery, right on Route 30, which used to be the main east-west road between Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. Of course, that's been uh, supplanted by the Pennsylvania Turnpike for truck traffic. But it's, it's quite a quaint route to take east to west. This is our last official wine stop. We're waiting on the winemaker coming down the road from the house. This is Helixville Winery on Tomco Road off of Route 30 between Bedford and Somerset. Where the deer and the buffalo run. For real, there's a buffalo for them. I said you're even being filmed. We've been here a few times before, but our friends haven't. And they were shocked that there was a winery down here. A retired gentleman and his wife operate one of the best ports I've ever had. This is the view from Helixville Road on the way back from the winery. That's a valley that I think uh, State Route 96 goes through north of Shellsburg. And right off of 96 is Gravity Hill, which is an interesting tourist stop. This is, an, uh, this is another spot that uh, we're taking a picture of the same valley from. I don't know if. Uh, has much impact on the video, but I'll tell you what, in person, it's just amazing. February 28th, 